XRP is seeing some nice gains here recently and it has to do with a couple bit of news bits that we're going to cover here and are Bitcoin miners going to cause the next crash? Well, let's go screen and screen and explore the news. Happy Friday, everyone, and as always, any article you see in this video will be linked in the description below. I got XRP up on the screen, and don't worry, we're going to get to the news, but I wanted to show you the price action first. Look at the big bump in price. We had some positive news coming out of the housing market, and you're sitting there, and you're like, well, wait a minute, Klaus, what are you talking about news out of the housing market? Well, in May 30th, I built you guys a video that had every important report date in June, and one of those report dates were today, it's housing. Yes, housing is going to to be tackled for the rest of this month and we had some positive numbers coming out of housing but I don't want to get lost in the weeds on that I first want to talk about this and then we're going to get back to Ripple XRP so don't worry don't worry guys all right almost 4 billion in Bitcoin miner loans are coming under stress. All right, so recently we have seen an overall downtrend of the market because of liquidation effects, right? People being leveraged, people needing cash and collateral, loans being closed out, a huge mess, right? It's like a domino effect that you're seeing. But we have another big concern that we have to tackle, and it's something that actually I'm kind of happy about a little bit here. So Bitcoin mining, all right? So think about the companies that make money off of mining. Right now they have had to dump their holdings. Translate that almost like a gold recovery company, right? A gold mining company. If they harvest, say, a thousand ounces of gold in a month, they don't sell all thousand. They sell what they need to run their company and usually hold on to portions of the rest and sell it at times that are beneficial. But because the Bitcoin prices are so far down, these miners have to sell their Bitcoin, right? Which is putting now more pressure on Bitcoin, more pressure on Ethereum, more pressure on the global market to cover their costs. So before where Bitcoin mining was super, super profitable and these guys could operate these warehouses full of thousands and thousands of GPUs, which by the way, GPU prices are coming down. Yes, for all you gamers out there. The premise is that mining isn't as profitable anymore. So as soon as they mine those Bitcoins, they are selling them. And that's what this article here talks about. The pressure on Bitcoin because now they have to sell it to cover costs. So enough with that. Let's talk about this movement right here in XRP and some news stories that are helping. Well, first things first, right? We had a good housing report out there that shocked everyone. Everyone thought housing was coming to a screeching halt. That's not what is going on right now. In fact, housing is still warm. Is it as hot as previous years? No, but it is still very, very warm. But here's the good news for you. Ripple opens new office in Toronto. And remember, what's good for Ripple Labs is good for XRP. Initially, the company is planning to hire around 50 engineers in Toronto. We are talking about a 100-person workforce in Toronto. Think of this hub right here. What's interesting about this, this will place more pressure on the United States going forward, especially with the SEC lawsuit because think does the united states now want to miss out on ripple labs moving even more of their operation to canada opening a new office in toronto right once you have that new office open hey if the u.s is being kind of a pain in the butt with you well you could start merging stuff over to toronto more of a financial benefit to canada so yes xrp positive news why because the host company ripple labs is expanding now if they're expanding what does that mean they have everyone it means they have capital and that's what you need right now to weather the storm think of your celsius think of fin blocks think of three arrows think of Babel. think of bit blocks all of those out there all liquidity crunches they don't have enough cash they are freaking out Ripple Labs is expanding, so obviously they got cash. And in fact, we even saw that earlier while at Davos, Ripple Labs was out there going, hey, we might even be buying some people. The other good news that's out there, this has to do with the SEC case. And honestly, people that are following this case, we're all seeing the tone right now. We're watching the SEC try to find any legal loophole they can to delay this proceeding. And you can even see it with the judge herself. She is starting to get frustrated with the SEC. So delay tactic, yeah, it's probably what's going on. Either way, though, we have positive news regarding Ripple Labs XRP. So if you want to know what big dates are coming up in July, hit the subscribe button because in a few days, I'm going to be making my July calendar for all of you so you know exactly what reports are coming out. Hint, hint here, the first big report that we're going to be looking for is going to have to do with inflation because inflation right now has been ruling the roost price wise. If inflation blows yet another 40 year record, I can assure you that crypto will be coming down. Now, if we start seeing some relief in inflation, well, that's when we could start seeing crypto tick up even more and more and more.